What's up everybody, it's AJA. I'm about to show you this uh, mixer in Beat Thang Virtual and show you how quick and easy it is to mix all your beats in Beat Thang Virtual and get them sounding good because, you know, that's what the whole point is. You want to make your music sound as good as it can be. And we've added a little tool in here that, that makes it possible for you to get all your sounds um, uh, playing right together. So, exactly what is a mixer? Well, in this, in this uh, aspect, a mixer, what it does for Beat Thang Virtual is it allows you to... Um, mix all the tracks like say if you got drums on track one and track two and track three and you got keyboards on track four and a bass on track five you need a way to to balance all the volumes um, for each one of the tracks so that's what the mixer button does so when you're in pattern mode right um, and you got a beat here you know all you have to do is click on the mixer button you don't have to start it can, it can be while it's playing um, and then you'll see in here you have volume level, panning, freak sand, delay sand. I'm going to tell you what all this does. Uh, and it's for each track. You notice as I click the tracks, these levels are changing. That's because I mix all my beats, man. You know, you got to have them levels and volume levels right. So I'm going to start the beat to play and just kind of tell you what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn the main master volume. I got my main master volume right here. So if I turn that up, you know. Goes up. I'm gonna turn a little bit louder so you can hear what I'm talking about. Track one, I think I got some, yeah, I got some drums and stuff on that. So if I want to bring the volume of that up, I can just move it up. And I got my little synthesizer here. If I want to move the volume of that up, I can move it up. Or I can bring it down. back up. Could also, um, you know, got different like little drums and stuff in here, whatever I got. Um, I could take this same synthesizer or this drums and I could move it over to the left or I can move it over to the right or I can move it right back to the center. I can do this for each track. Now, what Freak Sand does is it tells how much of that sound I want to send to the Freak button. Delay Sand tells me how much I want to send to the delay. Reverb, how much I want to send to the reverb. And then you got a weird little special little thing in here called Filter. Now, if I turn the filter on, it allows me to manipulate the sound with the Freak and the Q. See how that sound changes? And then I can move the mile wheel. And make it sound even more crazy and do different weird things. And I got all different types of filters in there. See? They do different things. And they all work good and reliable. Or I can turn them off. And that's my mixer. So I can make all my beats, get them sounding good. The goal that you should have when mixing your beats is to get everything to where you can hear it all. Everything's good, loud, and punchy without it redlining, without that seeing red up here. It's okay for it to, to redline a little bit. But when it stays in the red, your mix is too hot. You need to pull your levels down a little bit. Feel me? That's how to get the best mix out of virtual. Just use your mixer. Play with it. You know what I'm saying? There's power in that. 